YouTube, what's cracking? What's going on with you fellas? I am back with another video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I got a cold video topic for y'all today. All right, let's get to it. Tell you why men, black men are out here and the rates are through the roof. They tear us down when we don't communicate and express our thoughts and feelings and sentiments or our vulnerabilities. And then as soon as we talk and express our thoughts and vulnerabilities, we get our ass beat and get torn down for that too. Well, you ain't for, I'm not finna let myself drive me crazy mm -hmm. from keeping all this bouncing around in my head. So as long as these interviews are scheduled, motherfucker, I'm gonna show up and talk. So this is the thing. <laughs> all men on earth, around the world, we all got this one thing in common. We're not able to speak our truth. We're not able to say what's bothering us. We're not we're 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 not able to, you know, spill our feelings. Because when you do, you are labeled as a bitch. When you do, you are labeled as a man that got no backbone. She'll say Tell me what you're going through. Tell me what you're going through. So you're just trying to ignore it. You know, you're just trying to avoid, you know, the whole tell me what you're going through, you know, thing. You know, the pressure. After weeks and months and months and months and months of her begging for you to tell her what you're going through, you finally decide to do that. And then she used that against you in an argument she used that against you for no reason even if she don't say it she start looking at you a little different let's just be honest now ladies she start looking at you a little different so you as a black man well see i was raised in the hood so we was taught not to display emotions <laughs> I've been through, you know, some things and I don't like talking about things like this because it make you look weak. But fellas, I'm going to be honest with you. We all been there, right? We all we, we all been there. The the only way for you to deal with that is to just talk to yourself, bro. That's really it. It's either you talk to yourself or you find some somebody that you trust. And I'm and I'm talking about your homeboy. Like somebody that you really trust, some some, some saying like some partner that you really trust. Me personally, I don't like telling my people my business. I like to just deal with you know with my things. You know, I just I just deal with my problems, which is, which is not a good thing. But you know, what are you going to do? But Tyrese is right. But I also disagree with Tyrese because it's not everything that you could tell the public. It's not everything that you could go and say on camera because it could affect you. it could affect your business it could affect a bunch of other things as well it could affect the way that women look at you and it could affect a lot of things and i understand what he's saying because black men were not valued especially black women black women don't really value us like that and especially when you tell her about what you about what you're going through and then and 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 and, and, and what hurts you the most they will make fun of you. And it's not just black women, white women, Hispanic women. They're going to say, well, nah, you're not no man. But they can bitch. They can bitch. They can cry all the time for no reason. But you as a man, you have to deal with your trauma, your emotions, everything. And fellas, I'm going to be honest with you right now. If you open your mouth and tell a woman what you're going through, I'm going to say nine times out of ten, she's going to use it against you. 9.9 out of ten, she's going to use it against you. So just like I said, the way to, the way to not get used for being vulnerable is to talk to yourself. I've done it. It helped me. Talk to yourself. 
Spit it out. Sometimes when you keep things in, it will make you angry. Sometimes when you keep things in, it will make you stressed out. Sometimes when you keep things in, you just can't function as 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 good as you did, you know, five years ago or ten years ago. Because you got some some new things, some new trauma that you're dealing with. And so now you can't really, you know, look at other people the same way because you're fighting something. But then women never understand men. Women never try to understand men. The world don't try to understand you. Society don't care to understand you as a man. You as a man, you're supposed to deal with the trauma. You're supposed to go to war. You're supposed to come back. You, you, bro, bro, you go to war, 10 bullets. You got 10 bullets in you. Pop, 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 pop. You, you go to the hospital. You see, you, you, you see your own partner die in front of you. But somehow you're supposed to come out like you're strong, like as if nothing bothered you. You're supposed to come out like, like you're like the Hulk. Like nothing bothers you, as if you're not human. It's like saying you're going through a divorce, right? She take almost everything that she got. And a couple months later, down the line, you met this fine little woman. You all start conversating, get to know each other. And somehow she like, well, you seem a little sad. What's going on with you? Because, you know, you losing everything kind of hurts you a little bit. And you're like, nah, it's cool. You know, I'm, I'm just chilling. It's all right. And she pushed you. She keep pushing. She keep pushing for you to tell her the truth. Right? So you decide to tell her the truth. And then... She look at you a little different. She start, you know, backing off the way that she used to talk to you. She ain't talk to you that way no more. She don't even know what you've been through. But you as a man, you're supposed to be this one little something. And fellas, I'm going to be honest with you. You have to find a way to let that go. You got to find a way to let the... The, 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 you know, the trauma go. I've never been to therapy. I don't know if, if therapy works because I've never been to you know, therapy. I, I don't believe in therapy. But if you think therapy will help you, yeah, do that. If you think finding somebody like, you know, a cool friend will help you out, then do that, man. Because there's a lot of men that got things that they need to tell somebody they they bro it's it's like they got things in their head right now that's troubling them like but nobody want to listen to you as a man and you know in a way i disagree with what tyree say because it can mess up your business it can mess up the way women look at you you know so you as a man you can't really spell everything out you have to just give them a little taste and, and just back off. Because if you tell the world everything that you're going through, they're going to shame you for it. You're probably going to lose some gigs over what, what you said. Because the world is sensitive. The world don't care about you as a man. Society don't care about you as a man. If you are to be gone tomorrow, nobody would give a damn. Yeah, you, bro, you out of here. So you as a man... It's a little harder on you. That's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time. I'm out of here, man.